An historic first day in the Kingdom of Tonga as the Rugby Powerhouse Nation hosts its first Super Rugby Pacific match, a day 27 years in the making. With a small population of just over 100,000 people, this country has produced some of the world's greatest rugby legends. Now it's time for the Kingdom to shine. Malo Lomile Hoki Moe Kainga Kihapi Kikoto Fiver. Welcome in to Till Fiver Sports Stadium here in Nuku Alofa Tonga. It was a tropical paradise throughout the week, but the rain has come down and has greeted the Highlanders in some dreary weather. But that will not dampen the crowd because it has come out in force. Great to see the schools and the people of Tonga. Another line out throw down the back. This time it's securely taken. And a charge from Lotu and Nisi, who's been perhaps their best player so far this season great chance now for the home team to open the scoring they're very close to the goal line Inari calmly looks to his left Paulie is there they'll try and drive him over the line it's a try Ben O'Keefe confirms and an eruption of celebration around the crowd a couple of support players around him right there is Tef was it over he goes great try it's brilliant, wasn't it? Take it back to the scrum penalty, Millsy. Bell taking it to Harman's ground. Offside. Harmon again. They've got advantage. They were offside. Now they pop it up to Mao, and he's very close. Waiting for it. Telia. He's cut down very close to the line. Hammering away here, the Hunters. Now they look to give it some width. Through the hands it goes. And Ratu Maitavuti Nikens scores the reply for the Highlanders. Really nice. And then as they came back, penalty advantage. Nice little weak back ball here. All it was was a numbers game. And Ratu Maitavuti Nikens, he goes over for the response of the Highlanders. Brilliant, wasn't it? Lilzy. And just went bang, bang, bang around the far side. Now, another scrum. Do they power this one up as well? Six! Take advantage of their early edge in the set piece. Yes, they do. And Nisi controlling it in the back. And now he can go because they're under advantage once more. Hands it off to his brother, Finnick. Just inside the 10-metre mark. I'm staying straight. Uh, Henry Taifu came back against the grain with the carry couldn't make any progress so they'll come back for the penalty well the highlanders of course without ethan de groot this week he's on all black rest he's gone duck shooting i'll tell you this is duck shooting weather here i'll be flying low today tj beautiful <laughs> well really landed the conversion attempt and he struck that one pretty well too brings it back nicely and moana pacifica stretch their lead but it's picked up by Holland, he's driven back. Good tackle made by Alan Craig. Now Mitch Dunshay. Highlanders trailing by five. It's the 22. They're gonna try and do it half a meter at a time. Carry in there by Taniello Tilia. Getting involved in the forwards. Now back to the big men. Of a hate with a carry, oh, a bit of a tussle off the ball. Hate back into position. There's an advantage coming here to the Highlanders. And they get it away. Ratu Maitavuki Nikens corner guard and bats up in the corner. A quick movement of the ball again, and it's a try to the Highlanders. Straighten up nicely here, which just keep wing in two minds. Ratu Maitavuki Nikens, he done his job. Yeah, guard and bash if he gets the spoils. Lovely, wasn't it? It was, it was just that slightly wider pass from Fakatava and the outline from Ratu Maitavuki Nimkins and that man, corner guard and bash, a brilliant finish in the left hand corner. Behind the strike back. Game on in these conditions. Beautiful hands. Pinching the line out, Fakatava will airmail it down beyond halfway. Coming forward, Havili takes it nicely, but he was front on and he's been met. But he smuggles it away beautifully. And Isi, the offload to his brother. The kick into the 22. Tearing after it, grabbing it all on Nardi. Referee says play on. They're inside the five. And Nardi swings it away. The numbers. Holmrod taken to ground by Craig. 
They had numbers away to the right. Morley charge at the line for him. And now he sends it away now to the right. Holding it up the pass and over for the try is William Havili. Really smart from Havili because he hands it over to Inisi. Who then comes out, no one in front of him. Nice little offload to his brother who gets a spirally kick as a chip kick. Initially thought this might have been knocked on by Inari. Play on from the referee. Plenty of numbers also. Joey for Moana Pacifica. And the guy that started it, well, caught it initially. Havili, dummy, dummy, over he goes. Brilliant, wasn't it? Just the awareness from Pina Nise to come down. This left-hand touch. Beat it to his brother in the spiral banana kick, as you alluded to. Game good. Play the ball. That's a better scrum from the Highlanders. Now Miller, kick out to the left wing at Garden Bashup, and he's got this one as well. Puts the kick ahead. Ratu Maita Buki Likens is leading the chase. Oh, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! To pick that ball up and score in these conditions, that is sensational. Sort of their set piece. Garden Bashup chases it on. They want to get it as flat as good. This is a good decision over the top and the speed. Watch this, yeah. Brilliant. Beautifully weighted kick from both Cameron Miller. And from that man, Conor Garden Bishop. He's had a hand in all three tries, Conor Garden Bishop. Jacob Ratu Maitavuki Nipkins gets a double in the first half. Brilliant from the Landers. Looking for the try to put them back in front before the break. Avili Tali Tui on the charge. But a penalty. And it's him again. He's on this side. Holding on this side. Timothy Tama Tama Nawai. On the other side, hold on. Beautifully positioned again. And for the second time in this game, thwarts Moana Pacifica, and that means that the Highlanders will take the lead into half time. 19 17 the score. So plenty of points, plenty of action in the first half, despite these very challenging conditions here in Nukualofa. Tava though can see it, pops it away to the right. Ainsley with the carry. Done Shane now. In fact, it was Ollie Haig. Squirting loose. Fakatava's got it. Aiden Johnston, not a lot he can do with it. All about hanging on to the ball now. Just keep working away. Billy Harmon. Tackle made by Funaki. Ball on the ground, and it's a penalty again. And I think this time they're all pointing at the post. Well, they've got a change coming up. Danny Tuala is about to come on for Moana Pacifica, which will be a great deal of interest. He's made his Cameron Miller raises the flags again, extends the lead 25 to 17. Well, the scrum has just got better and better as it's gone on. They've got a penalty advantage here, the Highlanders. Gilbert sliding a little kick through loose and what is the referee saying there's a little oh, knock on i think knock on by gold. yeah the there's penalty. a knock on but they'll come back for the penalty this is just keeping the screws tightening all the time yeah 100 percent well he missed his first one and he put his first touch finder out on the full but he's done nothing wrong since then and here he is tacking on another three cameron miller Pads the lead. It's 28 to 17, an 11 point margin, and score a vital win in Super Rugby Pacific 2024. Miller again, clever little dig through, pressure at the back. Havili has it though for the Highlanders. It's a very difficult pass. Been scooped up, and in for the try goes Martin Bogado, and that'll seal it for the Highlanders. Yeah, well, they needed to. They pushed their pass. He just lost his footing. Good for May. Here's Gilbert. Nice little dink over the top by Miller, who's been very, very good, as you've mentioned. It. And there, there it is there. Picks it up. Bit of work to do. Stay composed. Good try. Great pressure and awareness, wasn't it, from Bogado? Just to put a little bit of stress on poor May. And then he was good enough to scoop it up and finish off. Uh, Bogado and the bench, they all erupted. Hold all oh no, what's going on? <laughs> Hold all tickets, he's been denied. 
have to come out with the big line about who thought when he was growing up in the northeast of Argentina that his rugby jersey would uh, rugby journey would bring him here. But just have a little look, and, and the ruling is that uh, that ball has been knocked forward by Sam Gilbert, and I think they've got this right. Making a fairly big deal of trying to milk that out of there, and can't do it. Well, is he going to blow time? He is. So the final whistle blows in Nukualofa. Not the result that the home team wanted, or the home for many of the home fans, but still, what an occasion it has been. Great turnout, great occasion. The crowd, well, they didn't sit, sit back and ask to be entertained. They were part of the entertainment. We've had a wonderful day here. And stick around, we've got more to come. Final score, Highlanders 28, Moana Pacifica 17.